what about 2009? It's a, a one complicated year for you as a company, but uh, for the market also. Are you afraid, maybe? Well, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. But the economy is not an easy one. If you look at the macroeconomic indicators, we had last year a growth of GDP like on 7%. Now the forecast is minus 4. So somehow it would be closing our eyes if we deny that a gap of 11% will not influence also the insurance market. If we look at the insurance market as such, of course that will be touched in several ways. Uh, the industrial production is going down, so the non-life market will be affected by it. Also, the life market will not have the same growth as last year. I think nobody wants to say loudly, but I think every month we see the, the results of this economic stagnancy stepping further in to our minds as well. So we have to adjust. We have to adjust, of course, in expenses, in growth expectations, and maybe that's for now enough you know, for the first answer. It's even, it's even more complicated for you as a company because you had your rebranding uh, a few weeks, one month ago. Um, do you have uh, big plans with Romania for this year or only awareness plans for this uh, short first period of time? Look, um, we changed our name from Inter American become Zurico. We did it in purpose also to make a statement to Romania that we are here to stay. And it's not such a bad time to do rebranding now, because for the same value you can get much more media exposure than you could get in other times. So for our distribution partners it's quite a support that we have this kind of rebranding campaign right now. As one of the only company till now in the insurance market who is actually doing a rebranding campaign. So. We are still in the middle of the campaign. We will pick up after Easter again with a continuation of our campaign, which will be more value oriented to get the brand Eureka as well as what we stand for in the mindset of the people. So uh, have you made, made up your mind? What kind of products will you, will you uh, insist on? Will you focus on? It will be the live products or uh, what, what do you think it would be more closer to the Romanian need? Yeah. Very good question. I think it's good to take into account that we are, as Eureka, here present in an insurance company as well as in a pensions company. We have uh, been rethinking our proposition basically last year. And we have said we want to focus on pensions, on health and on life insurance. That are the products where we either have a sizable market position which we can sustain. We do on the pension side even acquisitions uh, at the moment, which is also quite an exception. And, at, and on the other side, we have a good foothold, like in life, or we have winning cards, like in health. And we will continue to invest, basically, to get that specific target market growing via several ways of distribution. This kind of products are ones that are working on um, on a difficult period like this one we have. So uh, working with this kind of products, you combine practically your need as a company and the market the market need. What are your targets for this year? Growth in growth or profit? Yeah. Look, the, if we look ahead for this year, I think nobody has really an idea about what will be the growth. Last year we have seen a kind of growth of about 20-25% in ROM. This year will it be a half of that growth or will it be a zero growth? Nobody knows. What we really uh, know is that the only thing how you can make a difference this year is by making a movement, a positive move in distribution. Basically by replacing others uh, by offering good, innovative uh, product solutions and also by having the right approach and focus to a distribution channel. So that is our approach. We noticed that the corporate market, which is more amply benefit uh, related, is very difficult at the moment. In the retail market, I think there is still room to make a difference.